Earlier in the program, I shared with you a conversation I had with State Senator Chapin Rose after I gave him a, just a brief overview of some of the uh, FBI uniform crime statistics that were reported recently uh, concerning police officers killed in the line of duty. Uh, and those FBI stats that were updated in May of this year for all of 2021. It's for the entire country, including Puerto Rico and other jurisdictions. Uh, but it also shows you how many officers were killed in each state. These aren't accidental deaths. These aren't even we had one uh, Illinois State Police trooper um, uh, commit suicide uh, last year. That's not included in this. These are feloniously killed police officers, officers in the line of duty that were killed. Uh, and it's uh, interesting to see these numbers, um, especially in the past three years, eight of 14 over the past decade, eight of the 14 of the past decade happened within the past three years. Uh, so what's going on here? What's behind these numbers? Somebody else who's reviewed these numbers is Wirepoint's senior editor, Matt Rosenberg. He joins us now here with Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop. Matt, thanks for taking time and thanks for connecting. I imagine you and I are going to be talking more in the future as well. Absolutely, Greg. It's good to be with you this morning. And I've had a look at this FBI, uh, FBI data for Illinois, and uh, it's very concerning. What do you think's behind this? Of course, I mean, the data that I saw was in 2019, three officers killed in the line of duty. 2020, there were zero, but in 2021, there were five. And that is the peak over the past 10 years. What's going on here? We've got a national trend. Uh, first of all, 2021 was a really bad year uh, in the United States for police officers feloniously killed. There were 73 of them, and I, I summed up the average of all the years preceding 2021 from the FBI data and, uh, you know, from 2012 to 2020. And so we had a 52 percent jump over the rolling uh, yearly average in 2021. And it's all part of the great unraveling, and we're seeing it in, in Illinois. We uh, had the fifth most uh, felonious homicides in 2021 out of 50 states among law enforcement officers. And if you look at the 10-year stretch, we ranked number seven out of 50. And as you pointed out, the majority of the 14 felonious killings of police officers in Illinois since 2012 have all come since 2019, which is when Governor J.B. Pritzker took office. Now, in 2020, there were zero police in Illinois feloniously killed, um, and, and then there, were, there seemed to just be a spike with the most on record in the past 10 years of five statewide. Uh, and I, I did do a, a little bit of a search, and we're talking with uh, Matt Rosenberg, uh, senior editor with Wirepoints. I did a little bit of a search for Illinois police officers killed in 2021 and found several instances, uh, people who uh, you know were, were killed in shootouts with suspects. Uh, you had uh, another individual who was uh, hit by a car when he was laying down some uh, spike strips. Uh, so these were these were officers in the line of duty, but five. Um, it, just in 2021 alone, uh, what does that what does that portend for what we could possibly see in 2022? Well, I think we've got a deeper problem of really uh, what some have called the war on police. We've got a deeply seated antagonism in some progressive political quarters toward police. We've got um, a false uh, rhetoric out there that police are out there uh, mainly to kill unarmed black men. Uh, and what we see uh, when we look at the, the national data is that, in fact, 94 percent of the fatal shootings by police are of armed subjects who are, you know, refusing to comply with orders to drop their weapons. So looking forward to 2022, uh, year end data, we'll have to see uh, what shape it takes. But I think the, the root issue here is holding police accountable always. And certainly they've made mistakes, even fatal mistakes. There's no denying it. We shouldn't try and sweep it under the rug, but we've really got to watch the rhetoric. And I could give you a few examples of things that are going on in Chicago City Hall 
and Chicago public schools, most dismayingly, where, you know, police are being painted as racist cop killer, uh, racist uh, killers of blacks. And uh, it's just amazing that things have gotten this far. So we got to get a handle on the poisonous rhetoric that fuels this violence toward uh, those who serve and protect us. We're talking with Matt Rosenberg, senior editor of WirePoints, about some FBI statistics. Uh, again, the most recent uh, statistics for law enforcement officers killed in action released in May. Uh, and it shows that uh, Illinois is, uh, uh, you know, among the, the top states that uh, seem to be uh, dangerous for police officers and having uh, become more dangerous just in the past three years uh, of the most recent data that's been released. Uh, Matt, WirePoints has also been watching closely of all kinds of other violations crimes that seem to be trending upwards uh, and in particular you look at the national trend and yeah it's all trending upwards in these past three years or so uh, but Illinois much higher than the national average for violent crime uh, what are some of the other violent crimes that we're seeing an increased trend of well I want to uh, address that Greg but first I should mention if I could one last thing with respect to uh, the atmosphere behind the felonious killings of police in Illinois. I think it's uh, a very important for me to note that, uh, you know, this has occurred and spiked here in Illinois under Governor J.B. Pritzker. We should remember two things about Governor Pritzker. He has signed and stoutly defended Democratic enacted state legislation in 2021 to abolish cash bail, decriminalize trespassing, and consider ending qualified immunity for police uh, against lawsuits for just doing their jobs. Then there's his prisoner review board, which found itself embroiled in controversy earlier this spring after voting to release early uh, from prison uh, sentenced cop killers, three of them, and even fellow Democrats turned against Pritzker. They're forcing out some of his appointees to the prisoner review board. So the tone comes from the top. But to your question, Greg, nationally, um, you know, I think we're seeing a, a great spike in carjacking in Chicago that may level off. We're seeing in a lot of cities uh, what I call really the great unraveling. And so the year-end data will be interesting, but you can't just uh, uh, bally who will one-year drop, uh, as Mayor Lightfoot in Chicago has tried to do with one or two crimes. You've got to look at all the violent crimes, armed robberies, carjackings, crimes on transit in big cities. There are very worrisome things going on, and it loops around and connects back with the violence toward police. What I think is happening, Greg, is a breakdown in our social fabric. I don't want to exaggerate, but we shouldn't underestimate. Um, the idea of inhibition is gone. For people that have a grudge, you know, cops are fair game, citizens on the street or public transit are fair game. There's a predatory vibe out there. And this is not something we really used to have across all of our uh, neighborhoods in all of our big cities and it's bleeding into the suburbs and the smaller cities so something really funky is going on here and it all started i think in 2020. greatly appreciate your time matt rosenberg senior editor for wire points i imagine we'll be talking again in the near future all right be safe i look forward to that greg thanks for having me on it is springfield's morning news i'm greg bishop